Hello everybody, it's Mateo and today I'm going to be teaching you how to make millions of diamonds a day in Pet Simulator 99. After this video, you will not have to watch anything else because you will have a full understanding on how making diamonds works and how you guys can do it for yourself no matter what your setup is looking like. All I ask is that you do give this video a like and subscribe for more helpful Pet Simulator 99 content. Now let's get straight into how you guys could be making millions of diamonds a day. All right, you guys, so I've been sitting here for just a little bit while I was figuring out the details for this video. And as you can see, I have 2.28 million diamonds that I've got just from grinding this area. Now, one thing you probably will notice is that I am here in the final area of the Kawaii world and not the final area of the current event world that is out at the time of recording this video. And the reason for this is because if you are actually trying to grind the most diamonds that you possibly can, you have to be doing it in the main world and not the current event world that is out. The reason for that is actually very simple because in the event world, you can only use 15 pets at a time, as well as a lot of the enchantments also do not work in those worlds. So for that reason, you cannot earn nearly as much as you can in an event world as you can out here in the main world. So at the time of recording this video, the Kawaii world 224 is the final area in world three. So that is why I actually grind here instead of the color world because it is just more efficient that way which actually does lead me to the first point about how you can actually make the most diamonds when grinding now a lot of people actually forget about this and this is honestly probably the biggest factor in determining how much diamonds you're making every single night and that is going to be how many pets you can actually equip so since this is pet simulator 99 you can currently equip a total of 99 different pets at a time that is the max if you buy the game pass for pets equipped as well as go into the supercomputer and buy all of the pet equips possible. Now, the number one thing I do suggest to new players and people looking to make a lot of diamonds in the game is to is to absolutely max out the amount of pet equip slots that you have. Now, how many pet equip slots you can actually buy depends on your rank in the game. So I definitely suggest grinding your rank up so you can buy the max amount of pet equip slots possible. Even when you get a pretty high ranking, each of the pet equip slots are a few million diamonds each. You definitely still want to be investing in those because they really determine how much diamonds you can grind each day and you will definitely make it back over time. So don't worry about that before you even get any huges in the game you should have the max pet equip slots that you can currently buy at whatever rank you're at and then every time you rank up go ahead and purchase even more pet equip slots you guys are just gonna have to trust me pet equip slots really determine how much you can earn in the game now besides that really quickly let's just go over some of the basics as well now you can either use the fortune flag or the hasty flags it honestly doesn't really matter from my testing and experience it seems like you make around the same amount by doing each one i think the hasty flags are a little more important especially if you are grinding for items specifically so if you are trying to just get as many items as possible and then go ahead and sell those items i think hasty flags are better than that or better for that is what i mean but if you are just trying to grind for the max amount of raw diamonds as possible then the fortune flags are a little better so for this example i am using fortune flags at the moment and then another thing you cannot forget is using sprinklers because sprinklers actually increase how fast breakables respawn and as you guys know destroying breakables is how you earn diamonds so you want to be going through as many breakables as possible in whatever area that you're grinding now moving on to probably one of the big Biggest things and what you guys are watching the video for is your enchant loadout. Now your enchant loadout is also one of the most important things about how much diamonds you're earning and there is a ton of misconceptions and a lot of theories that people have wrong about how this works. Now first of all before I explain enchants there is something you definitely need to know about enchantments in Pet Simulator 99 and that is that there is a set limit on how effective these enchants work. This website right here is the big games API which basically tells you how effective some enchants enchants are for example at the top here this is the strong pets enchantment book the strong pets enchantment book diminishes power after 336 percent of usage and if you do want access 
access to this API, I have a link to it over on my Discord. Link to join the Discord will be down in the description below if you are interested in that. And the reason why I bring this up is because a lot of people use either too many diamond enchantments to the point where it doesn't really work or they're not using enough. So if I scroll down here over to the diamond section of the API, you'll see that the diminishing threshold for the diamonds enchant is 104. So that means that in game, you're going to want to be hitting that 104 threshold in order to be earning the max amount of diamonds. Now, currently in game, the diamond 10 book is the highest level diamonds book we have and this gives you an, an increased earning of 65 percent from breakables so because i am using two in this setup i'm actually getting a 130 percent increase earned from breakables which is 25 percent more than the threshold so i'm honestly actually using a little bit of overkill here with these two diamond two books but essentially what this means for you guys is that you really only need to be using two of these diamond eight books in order to be hitting that limit. Anything over using just two of these books is actually overkill, which is really good news for you guys because these are only 6,000 diamonds a piece, which means you can be hitting the diamonds threshold with just 12,000 diamonds. Now, even though the threshold is 105% for the diamonds books, there also is a separate threshold for fortune. So that's why on top of the two diamond books that you choose you should be also using one fortune book because this is going to give you an additional 40 percent increase of diamonds so these three enchantments right here are the only things that are actually going to give you an increased amount of diamonds that you're grinding when farming in any sort of area now what you will notice in this setup is that i don't have any damage enchants at all in here now the reason why i don't have any damage enchants equipped in the game is because there's actually a very low damage cap in pet simulator 99 which pretty much just makes all of the damage buffs that you get from potions fruits enchants pretty useless because you can hit that damage cap pretty easily if you have a decently high level stat pet now the damage cap in pet simulator 99 isn't like an exact damage amount instead it's pretty much the fact that your pets can only destroy a breakable in as little as three hits so if i do go ahead and pull out just one of the huges that i use in my setup and then go over here and watch how fast it breaks breakables if my pet is destroying each breakable in three hits that means i am already at the damage cap which means that using any damage enchants or potions is pretty much just useless now there is a lot higher of a damage cap when it comes to things like chests in the game or other things that pop up here for example if i go ahead and spawn a lucky block and have my pet go ahead and start hitting it you'll see that i definitely do not three shot this lucky block now using damage enchants and damage buffs will increase how much damage i do to things like this but it will not increase how much damage i'm doing to breakables because i'm already at that three hit limit so what i suggest for you guys is that you need to make sure that your pets are destroying breakables in three hits because if your pets aren't doing that then you're not going to be earning as many diamonds as you can you don't even necessarily need a team of huges to do this you just need to make sure that your pets are destroying the breakables in three hits so if that is not the case then i suggest using something like strong pets to increase the amount of damage that your pets are doing every time now while the criticals book is better than strong pets in general for breakables specifically i would suggest strong pets because that is going to increase how much damage your pet is doing every single time to the breakables which will help you to hit that three hit limit and then enchants like speed will also help because your pets will be moving around and be able to clear all the breakables just that much faster as well as happy pets because it does the exact same thing allows your pets to move faster as well as attack quicker the name of the game when trying to earn diamonds in pet simulator 99 is just being able to clear the breakables as quickly as possible now since i do not need any damage in chance i would go ahead and use my chest mimic as well as my boss chest and my boss lucky block on top of these here but if you are just trying to grind for diamonds i would use the two diamond books a fortune book and then the speed book and then only use the damage enchants if that is what you need to hit the three hit limit. Now, besides enchants in the game, there are a bunch of other buffs that do give you bonuses to stuff like earning diamonds, doing damage, all that kind of fun stuff. So in terms of fruits, you should definitely be consuming the max amount of fruits that you can constantly in the game, specifically the orange fruit.
fruit is what gives you the boost in diamond percentage. And then the apples help you with stuff like damage. Now on top of the fruits, you should also always be having all three of these toys enabled. As you can see, I have a hundred days of each almost. This is exactly what your guys's boost should look like as well. These are very important because for example, the toy ball lets your pets run three times as fast. And then the toy bone and the squeaky toy both enable your pets to deal damage even faster, which allows them to go through those breakables even quicker, which is always a big bonus. Each of these are also also extremely cheap so you guys have no excuse go ahead and buy some from the trading plaza if you don't have enough to run them 24 7. now we're reaching the end of this video and there's only a few other things that i need to show you but since you guys did make it this far in the video i did want to reward you guys so if you comment your roblox username down below and the word potion you'll have a chance to win this huge elegant eagle behind me it is looking absolutely dapper with its top hat so all you guys gotta do is comment that below and be subscribe to the channel which leads me to the last topic of the video which is the potions now before i give any suggestions for potions in pet simulator 99 one thing i definitely suggest you do is to max out your potions mastery now the reason why maxed out potions mastery is so good is because at level 90 you get this 10 percent chance when drinking a potion to get a free tier upgrade now this can be extremely valuable because this can give you some higher tier potions for a lot cheaper for example if you drink the diamonds potion 7 you might get an upgrade to the diamonds potion 8 and you would only be spending 700 diamonds instead of 7,000 diamonds on each of these potions now in terms of what potions you should be using to maximize how much diamonds you're making I'd honestly just suggest you to use the max level potions that you currently have from grinding the game already. Now, at minimum, if you are grinding for diamonds specifically, I would suggest you go ahead and buy these potions. Now, these diamond seven potions are only 700 diamonds currently, and they are a very good deal. And if you have max potions mastery, you are going to get upgraded to this diamond eight a lot of the time. That's how I have eight days of these is just because I've drank hundreds and hundreds of these diamond seven potions these potions are definitely your best bang for your buck but besides that for the rest of the potions i just drink whatever the max one you have is don't go ahead and go out of your way and buy all the potions just drink what you have from grinding already the thing is with these potions is there's very little return on the high level ones because there is a decently low limit for how much boosts actually help you in this game and we don't currently know what that is so using all of these high tier potions are pretty useless the only useful ones i would say are the lucky eggs potions for getting stat pets later on and then i would also say that using cocktails just really isn't worth it if you are just grinding for diamonds these cocktails are very useful if you are grinding for items and that's pretty much the only time i would suggest you use them because you could go ahead and sell them for 164,000 each so for that reason is why i just don't think you really get all that much return now, one thing I forgot to talk about is actually the magnet book. Now, you don't actually need super magnet. You can just use magnet three because I'm pretty sure the magnet three works to grab all of the breakables anyways. But using super magnet is just a big time saver and it's just very convenient. So you don't actually necessarily need this, but it also does enable you to use a new strategy as well while you're grinding. So even if you don't have the auto farm game pass, you can do this. Let me pull out all of my pets here. And now what you can do from here is while you're grinding, you can actually be going ahead and opening this egg at the same time. All you're going to want to do is make sure your auto hatch is on, open the egg, and then you're going to walk over to the edge of the area. Now, as you can see, I am in the edge of the area. I don't have auto farm enabled, but my pets are automatically farming this area. Now, one thing I would make sure is that if you are using a magnet three book, make sure that all the breakables that you're breaking on this side of the thing are going into your inventory so that you are getting all the diamond drops that you're earning. By doing this, you can go 
go ahead and sell all of those stat pets that you get and you could potentially also get a huge at the same time which would be a huge payday but that is pretty much it you guys if you do all of those steps you will be earning millions and millions of diamonds a day i think i'm currently earning like 2.5 million diamonds an hour by grinding like this which means that i'm earning like 50 to 60 million diamonds a day doing this method if you have any tips that you think i left out of this video please leave them down in the comment section below and i will make sure to pin them and remember to subscribe for more helpful videos thank you guys so much for watching i'll catch you in the next one and peace out